The closer that two charges are together, the stronger the force between them will be. Remember that electrostatic forces happen between charged objects. Like charges will repel, while opposite charges will attract. Let's suppose we have two charged spheres, one positive and one negative, and they experience an electrostatic attraction. When we have them close together like this, it will be a strong force. But if we have the same charges but further apart, then the force between them will be weaker. So why does this happen? Well, we can explain this using the idea of electric fields. An electric field becomes weaker with distance from the charge at its centre. Remember that an electric field is a region where charges experience electrostatic forces, such as the area around one of these charged spheres. A second charge here would experience a strong force, so we say the field itself is strong here. Then a charge here would experience a weak force, meaning the field is weak here. This difference in field strength is shown by the field lines getting further apart. Remember that we draw field lines to represent the direction of the force on a positive charge that would be caused by a field. So for a positively charged sphere, the field lines would look like this, where we have arrows pointing away from the sphere since positive charges would be pushed away from it. In general, the closer together field lines are, the stronger a field will be. So near the charge where the field is strong, we can see the field lines are close together. And then further from the charge, we can see the field lines are now far apart, resulting in a weaker field. Now you won't be expected to give values or make calculations about the strength of an electric field, but for your exams, you'll need to be able to explain how this strength changes and how you can tell from the field lines. But what else determines the strength of the field? Well, larger charges will generate stronger electric fields. Let's suppose we have two charged spheres, one with a charge of 1 coulomb and the other a charge of 10 coulombs. So here, the smaller charge will have a weak electric field. We can also show this visually by not giving it many field lines. Then the larger charge will have a strong field around it. We can represent this by using a lot more field lines to draw this field. Again, you won't need to calculate the exact difference in field strengths, but you will need to be able to explain that in general, larger charges mean stronger fields. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there!